Hi, so we're back uh, after a pretty long hiatus here. You can see we've got, uh, I think these are technically either new or secret Avengers uh, in the team that we're using. We're now switching over to Captain America to unlock some of his stuff uh, after using Luke Cage, I think mostly last episode. And yeah, it's been a, a, a big difference. Obviously, um, the last time I did a video, I think the year had just changed. And this time, um, you know, several big things have sort of happened. You know, we've, we've already gotten through my birthday. Uh, my grandfather has died uh, just three days ago um, at the timing of this recording. And this and we're still under quarantine um, now the place where I live is in a phased reopening uh, process at the moment and the first phase started on I guess the 8th of May and you know, I haven't had it haven't had a haircut in Unfortunately, my last haircut was, I think, like, at the end of February. So I was just ready for the next one uh, when everything when everything shut down. Um, so I have more hair than I, than I um, have ever remembered having, with the problem that it, none of it's on... I'm, I'm unfortunately, I don't have any more hair on the top of my head. Um... So, you know, every time I've made noises about going bald, and I don't think I've necessarily done it on the channel. Um, that was always a reference to what was going on on the top of my head. Not, not that I just didn't have, apparently I can grow hair fine, just none of it, none of it necessarily where I'd need it to be. Um... But that's that's been kind of a fun thing to to sort of look at here. And okay, we we lost Cap, and looks like we also lost Johnny Storm. We revived Cap. We have to build up our fusion gauge. Skip forward a little bit to so we've got Johnny Storm back. And we're looking for the power terminals in our own Hydra base. For the purposes of, um, again, we're trying to break through to Cable and save uh, the information in our base from being intercepted or lost uh, to the pro registration side. And we're going to break every box we can because those will. Um, those have experience and sometimes health in them. It's been a little while, so you'll know the experience. Um, the experience things are white, and health is red. We'll see health. Uh, we'll probably see health at some point. And so we've really got a kind of brawly little team here. Because we got Cap, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist, who are all kind of close, close up, hand to hand guys. As we've taken out the final uh, power converter that we needed, but we do have them kind of backed up by Johnny Storm, as you can imagine, who just sort of throws fire. Of course, I don't know how effective AI Johnny Storm is being for us, but we'll 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 let that go. I mean, it's not. Uh, most important thing. We also have you know, some enemy robots here and big suckers too. Alright, got Cap. A little bit of health I think. But this we're also using the guided fusion uh, with Cap and Luke Cage to sort of run through that guy uh, in a Several times, unfortunately, it kind of prevented us from being able to get more health because that's why you do fusion attacks in this game. Is you 
you want uh, the to kill enough enemies doing the fusion attack to uh, to generate the health thing. Or if it's a targeted fusion attack, you just want it to hit, um, and then that should do it for you. Okay, we got Cap on the blink again. Uh, oh. <laughs> that guy kind of merged into the staircase there, or the ramp. And because he's got a shield, we can't hit him, even though, you know, it doesn't necessarily make a ton of sense. One of the things that was funny about the original uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance is that you could eventually level up Spider-Man's uh, web bursts so that they could go th they could go through shields. Now, I don't know if they were going through shields because they were supposed to be able to do that or if they were just going through shields because, for whatever reason, uh, the game wasn't properly uh, adjusting for them with shields. But more than just words. You know, we got the cap shield bash going on, and that is the cap move that I kind of prefer in this. It's not, and that's because, yeah, obviously if you do the shield throw, which cap is known for, you got to wait for the shield to come back. Whereas the shield bash, you can, you know, do again pretty soon after you do it the first time. So, okay. more shield that, okay, well, that guy didn't last very long after we ripped his shield away, but he's got friends. And, you know, just, so, usually, as normal with the hiatus, uh, for me, it, it's not, it's not related necessarily to... Uh, current events. It just happens. So, you know, we've, there have been a lot of things that have sort of changed. Uh, like the Marvel movie schedule has gotten almost completely pushed back. And the Black Widow movie that was supposed to come out, I guess around now, um, or a little earlier, has now been pushed back to kind of November uh, Christmas territory. I think November is the official date, but you know whatever. And that's kind of pushed the Eternals uh, movie into 2021, and it's also pushed Doctor Strange probably uh, either into late 2021 or possibly into 2022, so that the next real installment of the MCU. And it's not that the Black Widow movie and the Eternals aren't going to be imp aren't going to be important in some way for the story of Phase 4, but both of those are likely going to be sort of time both of those are going to be time displays. I mean, we know that the Black Widow movie takes place after Civil War, but before Infinity War, uh, the Eternals movie is probably going to be time displaced in some ways it'll probably have a section that's in modern times but there's probably also going to be a fair amount of that movie that's like flashbacks to sort of old stuff including possibly the creation of the universe um, or at least the celestials creating life within the universe so that the I think the proper continuation of the MCU story is actually going to fall on the shoulders of Spider-Man 3, um, whatever, I, I think, let's see, Spider-Man, first Spider-Man movie was Homecoming, second Spider-Man movie was like Far From Home, um, I think Spider-Man 3's title is supposed to be something like, um, We're Home, or I'm, or Coming, well, not Coming Home, because that would be a take off on homecoming that'd be terrible um and it's just not going to be the thing that uh so you know we left the story with spider-man it looks like we're probably going to pick up at least the events if not the story of phase four 
with Spider-Man uh, before you know we're gonna hear from Doctor Strange and as all the Disney Plus series have also been delayed you know I, there's there's a chance that we're not gonna even get those um, benefits for those shows to kind of fill in gaps for us All right, so now I've changed to being Johnny Storm, and this is done so I can probably, so I can unlock uh, Johnny Storm's ability. Oh, no. One issue with Johnny Storm is kind of low health as far as characters go. I mean, a, a lot of these characters have abilities that can make them almost overpowered. Um, Johnny Storm is sort of a, you know, just throwing stuff from far away, kind of accomplishes that. But if he ever does get hit, you know, he's kind of flimsy. In that way, he's not unlike the, uh, he's not all that much unlike the Incredible Hulk in this game. Hulk does lots of damage close in, but for whatever reason, Hulk does not have a lot of health points. I mean, just doesn't have a lot of health points. And to think of the Hulk as a glass cannon is kind of weird, but, you know, that's that's how they chose to do it. Um, I'm pretty sure that it basically becomes the exact opposite to the thing in that sense, because, you know, the thing's got a lot of durability, um, but his offensive prowess, I think, has probably been nerfed, at least relative to that, you know, Hulk. Hulk was a DLC character. Well, no, I, I take that back. Not a DLC character. You unlock him by getting uh, Gamma tubes, I think, collecting those over the course of the game. I don't think you're going to see any of those on this playthrough, because this is a um, this is a New Game Plus playthrough, and we already have the Hulk unlocked, I'm pretty sure. I don't have time to explain why. Either back off, or suffer the consequences. So, hey, it's Bishop! Because we already have cable in this base, and we just need more time traveling uh, X people. Bishop's powers are kind of cool. I mean, if if you're not familiar with with the character, basically he can redirect, he can absorb and redirect energy, which you know, assuming you've got. Uh, enough energy around him. Um, you know, he can go, he can be, he can be the strongest weapon you have, but he's also sort of dependent on, again, getting that energy. And you can see he's like charging around here. Um, and we're trying to hit him, but you can see we're not doing a lot of damage to him. And so you can see that Cable keeps telling us not to attack him with energy. So... Johnny Storm's gotta go. And we're gonna replace Johnny Storm with, uh, <laughs> with the thing. Uh, we've got this thing wearing his alternate costume for the for this game, which is his ultimate uh, Fantastic Four costume. And fortunately, just enough good good old fashioned punching. Um, was enough to move us on to this part of the boss, next part of the boss fight. So here, 
besides going around and getting collectibles. You've got to destroy the charging stations where Bishop is drawing power from. You know, except... So, that one went red, now this one's gone red. And now if we can just... Now this is the first time I'd fought Bishop in a while, so you can see I'm not, I'm not exactly remembering uh, what to do here. So it looks like we're trying to get, I think we're trying to turn everything red. Yeah, and that released the electromagnet or whatever and allows us to hit Bishop. Now you'll notice in the back of the room here, there is a computer terminal and there's cable with a, basically a force field. This room looks a little different when you show up with the Pro Reg team because it doesn't have this big uh, reactor set up. Now, um, you'll notice that when when I use the thing, I, I, I do is taunt a lot, uh, and that's because when the thing one of the ways that you unlock the thing's alternate costume is uh, you have to do its clobbering time like a rather large number of times. I forget the exact number. Okay, so Cage is her thing is thing was hurt. So we're switching over to Iron Fist. Just trying to heal other people and hoping that they <laughs> manage to do some damage to Bishop while he's here. You should be helping keep the peace. I need to fall back. I feel like we haven't made a lot of progress. A lot of death going on. And uh, this is also, just healing people is also the way Iron, Man, Iron Fist unlocks his other costume. Um, unfortunately, we don't seem to be doing any extra damage to Bishop from when I left, as, or when I sort of ducked out of the fight to play Medic. Uh, for a while. So, let's see here. Alright. We're dumping the team concept. We're just, we're going straight brawlers now. Um, we just dumped Cap for the Hulk. Now the Hulk has got a particular move, and I'm doing it sort of right now. That's at least doing something, but again, look, Hulk not, doesn't have a lot of health. So I'm going to swing Iron Fist into Bishop. And, uh, yeah, almost forced to play Medic again. Alright, so, yeah, we... We just basically ignored the, uh... the electrical stations 
probably need to go back and bash on those again. Alright, well, Bishop wants to stand here. I'll, I'll at least take some damage off of him. Trying to figure out the range of Hulk's uh, kind of floor smash move here. Sometimes you think you got it, and sometimes you don't. Okay. Just lost the Hulk. Again, I don't think that this is supposed to be a particularly difficult boss fight. I just don't think I remembered what I was supposed to be doing. So you just sort of watch our guys kind of toy with Bishop, uh, or Bishop toy with us, depending on how you want to look at it. And we're obviously not doing a very good job of reacting to his charge up and then energy expulsion move. Because um, we've been hit by that over and over again. Okay. Alright, so now we go and attack the two terminals where Bishop is not. Okay, that knocked him out of recharge. Um, unfortunately, we could just get a fusion tech or a fusion uh, move off here. Now, in my defense, I, I guess I need to point out that New Game Plus is played on legendary difficulty, but that also means that um, all my characters. also have like all their level ups and whatnot from the first playthrough so it I really don't think it should be making this much of a difference okay I think we need to like run guys okay we've now lost Iron Fist and Hulk so now I've just got Luke Cage and Ben Grimm And we are very close to defeating him, though. Now we just lost Cage. Actually, no, we haven't lost Cage, but he's, he's blinking. Never good when people are blinking. Alright, so I think we're in some sort of final sequence here. I'm going to go smash up these electrical... Uh, servos. Bishop's evidently absorbing too much power. And there you go. There's Iron Man. And again, we're going to be uh, continuing to do defensive responses on all the on all this stuff, trying to unlock the uh, defensive skill boosts. But I can see you want to play this the hard way. So be it. All right, so uh, Ben Grimm and uh, Luke Cage We've already enjoyed some finally defeated Bishop. But we knew we were going Let me get a little bit of a battle report here. Looks like Stark and Shield are working overtime. They've been rounding up unregistered heroes and criminals like there ain't no tomorrow. In fact, we hit a running out of room to hold them all. 
Intelligence obtained by cable now indicates oh. that the Pearl Ridge And now we're introduced to Prison 42 in the negative zone. And of course, Prison 42 has its own sort of unique history in the uh, Marvel comics. In the sense that not everybody quite understood what it looked like. But this, is, becomes our, this becomes our new target. We are, eventually we want to get in there, we want to break out, um, 